This is Jamie from Code Orange, and this is Hales from the Crypt. What the hell is going on? My name is Sean the Butcher, here with you in the New York City studios, and I am honored to be joined by my guest, Jamie from Code Orange. What is going on, dude? How you doing? What's going on, man? Thank you for having me. No, thank you for coming up here. This new album, Forever, I have been cranking nonstop. I got a shout out. Phil Queso sent me the album. It has been the only thing I've been listening to. Jamie, I just told you I have a stack of CDs on my desk. It is my job to be listening to more metal and getting more stuff on the air, and I cannot stop listening to Code Orange. So thank you for putting out this incredible record. Out now on Roadrunner Records, Pittsburgh's Pennsylvania's finest in hardcore. You guys struck a nerve with me because my first hardcore, my first show ever was a hardcore show. Full blown chaos, E Town Concrete, Through the Discipline, Queens, New York, Voodoo Lounge. What was some of your first shows that got you into the heavy metal and hardcore? Well, we kind of got into music through through hardcore music and through like punk rock. And so we just kind of started going to local shows in our area. I think maybe the first hardcore band I ever saw, that's kind of a tough one. I think probably Converge was one of the first oh. hardcore bands I ever saw. Um, ah, oh man, that's tough. But we've I've gone to we've gone to endless amounts of shows and yep. been lucky enough to be able to see bands all over the world. We got to see Strife in Japan. We got to wow. see uh, you know everyone everywhere. So it's it's been amazing. That's incredible. Well, I'm glad that. We need more hardcore because there's so many bands that come out that are kind of sounding alike lately, and there's so much metal that's out there that, I mean, I like to label some of it genericore just because there's so many bands that sound alike and sound the same, and it is what it is. I understand how a thing like that happens, but when I hear a, a group of young kids come out with some amazing hardcore, that's something that makes me feel amazing. Pick up the brand you, new man. album, Forever. It's out now on Roadrunner Records. Your third album, you had uh, Love is Love, Return to Dust was your first. I Am King, and now Forever, pick up all those albums. How's it for you right now having a third album out? How's the fans been, uh, the reception to it been so far? It's been amazing. To me, it really feels like the second record in a lot of ways because we started this band when we were 14 years old. So I think a lot of people play in a lot of bands before they kind of play in the band that's for them. And I think we've we've definitely done a lot of growing and changing, and I really like a lot of that first stuff in those first seven inches and that first record. But I think uh, the last two records, the one we... The I Am King record and mm -hmm. the Forever record represent kind of the path that I think uh, we'll be going down for the remainder of our lives. You know, And they're kind of the first records we... I mean, we wrote I Am King when we were 19. We wrote this one when we were you know, 21, 22. I was going to so say, how old are you now, if you don't mind 23. Me asking, oh, my God. We're all 23. Me feel like an old man. Nah. God damn. Yeah. You know, I went to a bar, and some chick asked me how old I was, and I was hesitant to answer. And when I Come told on. her 33, she's like, ew, you're old. That broke shattered my world finally i'm coming to the realization that i am an old man but it feels that's good not bad. to see you're good <laughs> that's not too old it feels good to see kids coming up playing such hardcore awesome music i noticed you dropped kids from the name no longer code orange kids now code orange yeah i think that speaks well for the band because that shows growth literally i mean yeah well like i said we we literally thought of that name when we were 13 mm -hmm. so imagine you're 18 or 19 and we wanted to we wanted to progress in the way we wanted to visually and musically uh, and aesthetically. And we needed a change, but we wanted to keep the name that made our, you know, our group who we are and what we're known as, you know, even in our own city and everything. So uh, I feel it was the right balance. That's badass. Well, Code Orange have been selling out. You've sold out basically every show on this tour, right? It's been how, pretty how, great. How's yeah. that feel for you? It's been awesome. It's definitely been the best tour we've ever done. Um it's been absolutely amazing. The reception of the record's been awesome. I think uh, we're definitely very confident in what we're doing, and some people like that and some people don't, but I think that uh, that definitely, definitely lends to other people being confident in what you're doing. So if you're not confident in what you're doing, those shows ain't going to sell out. And so. if you're hating on people for being confident for what they're doing, you have no reason to live. Just what, 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 why do people hate on shit so much? I can never know. That's why I love dudes like nails and shit. I see Todd Jones just got access to Twitter and he's just cursing people out on Twitter. I was like, this is reality. This is what I want. He's definitely doing his thing. I think for us, um, it's just, you know, and, and I could see why sometimes things come, things come off the wrong way. I don't mm. think for us it's an arrogance thing. I think we're just work extremely hard at what we do. We've always worked extremely hard at what we do and uh we're very very confident in what we're putting out there and there's not anyone that's going to tell me not to be confident in what i'm doing because it's my entire life so you know we say what we feel and 
We make the records that we feel. So Hell yeah. And you prove that on this brand new album, Forever Out Now, Roadrunner Records. I want to get into the first track, the opening track, the title track, Forever. What can you tell me about this track, Jamie? This is the first track we wrote, and I kind of wanted it to be almost like a gateway to the record. It's got uh, some really hard parts. It's got some more interesting dynamic parts, and it drives and grooves. And there's a, there's a lot of weirder stuff in the album and a lot of harder stuff in the album. There's a lot of sides to the album, but this song kind of has a little taste of everything. It's almost like a little teaser trailer for the record, so. Hell yeah, this is forever on.